If you were holding out hope that after a year since the release of an RTX 4090, you'd be able to pick one up on a nice little discount, well, unfortunately, I've got some bad news for you. On the bright side, though, if you were in the market for a high-end GPU, more specifically one from Team Green, then these rumors surrounding the possibility of some super-branded GPUs may give you something to possibly look forward to. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. The world of GPUs has been quite a roller coaster ride in these recent times. The RTX 4090, Nvidia's current flagship, is a GPU which offers blazing fast performance at 4K and 1440p and is one of the best cards if you want ray tracing. So naturally it's sought after by many, but unfortunately it's also out of reach for the vast majority of gamers. Over the past few weeks, a noticeable trend has emerged. The prices of the RTX 4090 have been gradually increasing. I know that's something a lot of you probably didn't want to hear, but given what's been going on around the world, it's not surprising. Nvidia had launched this GPU last year with an original MSRP of $1599, and when it had launched, it was actually quite difficult to find, and it still sort of is. The Founders Edition model, which is only available at select few retailers like Best Buy, was basically a unicorn, mainly because it was the cheapest model that actually sold at MSRP, and also because the Founders Edition looks really cool and has decent cooling performance. Now, you could have purchased a partner model, and they'll perform a bit better than the Founders Edition due to having larger coolers with triple fans, though that makes fitting them into a case a bit tricky. But that aside, they'd also be marked up over MSRP. Some would be marked up around $50, which isn't too bad, but for some premium models like the ROG Strix, you'd be looking at markups of around $300, if not more. The other issue was also stock. Considering how expensive the 4090 was, it was still selling out relatively quickly, with cheaper models like the 4080 and 4070 Ti readily available. Later on, though, I'd say at around the start of the summer, the initial hype had settled, and you could easily find most partner models in stock readily available. Founder Edition cards were still a bit tough to find, but if you wanted an AIB RTX 4090, you didn't have to search around multiple sites or watch stock alerts. And also, I did see many AIB cards drop down to MSRP. Now fast forward to the beginning of this quarter, and if you wanted to purchase an RTX 4090 near MSRP, forget the Founders Edition, I'm talking about lower tier AIB models, then good luck. Not only are the cheaper models sold out or have been delisted, but the remaining models have seen an increase in price. This can be seen on a website like Newegg, who are a well-known PC parts retailer here in North America. The cheapest model here is the Gigabyte Gaming model, listed at $16.99, so a $100 markup over MSRP, which may not seem so bad to you, but remember, this G GPU is now over a year old, so you'd expect less than $100 MSRP to be the norm. At one point, it did drop down relatively close to MSRP, but you can see that it did spike back up. Over on Amazon.com, the situation is similar. You'll find a few 4090 models in stock, but they're all considerably over MSRP. The ones that are shipped and sold by Amazon, that is. You'll find more cards in stock, but they'll be sold by third parties and are scalped, so I just recommend ignoring them. I just think that these prices over a year are a bit hard to swallow, but to be fair, if RTX 4090 level performance is what you're after, then your only option is just that. The question then arises, what is driving the surge in prices? The answer lies in the recent geopolitical developments. A ban on the GeForce RTX 4090 GPU in China has reportedly led to this increase. As one of the largest markets for graphics cards, any changes in China's policies can have a ripple effect on global prices. Nvidia was already subject to US export regulations for high performance chips, but a new set of restrictions imposed by the US government has impacted exports of other high-end GPU models, which now also include the RTX 4090. These decisions were made based on performance for models which have memory bandwidth exceeding 600 gigabytes per second and 4800 tera ops. In anticipation of the restrictions kicking in next month, the RTX 4090 models are being sold for double the price in China. This surge in domestic prices due to the impending ban has likely contributed to the global increase. It's also not just for China where these restrictions apply, but also for many other countries in the Middle East and Asia. So I can see this pricing effect spilling over to other parts of the world, even if they aren't listed here. I mean, we've already seen this being reflected here in parts of North America. Along with that, since many of these countries don't have their own distributors, they're getting a lot of their imports from China, so they're also going to be seeing drastic increases there too. Another major contributor to this, and one of the reasons why these kinds of bans were imposed in the 
first place is because of the race for AI. A lot of people don't realize this, but the 4090 has a lot of hardware in it. Companies and researchers were leveraging the power of this GPU for machine learning, training LLMs, and more. Since Nvidia's top data center GPUs are essentially backordered, this prompted people who are using AI applications to look for other alternatives as well. This is why you might have seen a lot of talk over the past couple of weeks for another GPU boom, because consumer grade GPUs are also being used in these scenarios. On top of that, since RTX 4090 prices have skyrocketed, gamers in places like China are turning towards the next best option, which would be the 4080. Hey guys, editing Danny here. Just wanted to include this update in the video as I was editing this earlier today, and it looks like there's been some changes where now Nvidia has filed another SEC report which excludes the RTX 4090 from the list of restricted GPUs. Now many interpreted this as them excluding the RTX 4090 from the list, which means it was going to be unbanned. It could be a possibility because the 4090 isn't classified as a data center product, but what was actually happening here is that they just filed another report for immediate restrictions where the 4090 was excluded from that. We'll see what happens, but I take it some sellers or resellers are going to still be taking advantage of the situation to mark up the products and get as much out of them. So I wanted to include this for you guys just to ensure you're up to date on what's going on. So these are going to be some interesting times ahead. If you were in the market for a high-end GPU and you were eyeing the RTX 4090, might not be such a bad time to just spring for it in case prices jump again. But I can also understand why someone wouldn't want to pay these kinds of prices for a GPU that's a year old. But hey, this is what the market demands. Hence, these are the kinds of prices which will be dictated. Only you can make that decision for yourself. Now, speaking of the RTX 4080, I wanted to move on to our next topic here. And we did previously talk about this in a video I made a couple weeks ago with the rumors pertaining to an RTX 4080 Ti. Now, the latest set of rumors are surrounding the possibility of Nvidia preparing three new super SKUs which contradicts what we talked about. I'm not going to spend too much time discussing this as the info out right now is quite limited, and to me honestly, it just seems like people are just slinging a lot of crap to a wall to see what will stick. I'm more personally leaning towards them just slotting in an RTX 4080 Ti and calling it a day, whether that'd be a cut down 8102 card or a full fat 8103. But according to this user on Twitter, Twitter, Hongzing2020, NVIDIA could be preparing a 4080 Super, 4070 Ti Super, seriously, great names guys, and a 4070 Super. Following these rumors, and I guess adding some credence here, is Harukaze who is sourcing Benchlife, and they've stated that when they reached out to some AIBs, they were able to confirm that NVIDIA plans on bringing three new GPUs to market, with those being the same ones we mentioned earlier. Along with that, they mentioned with the RTX 4080, it will be using 20 gigabytes of G6X memory. So this kind of coincides with what we were talking about when we discussed the RTX 4080 Ti rumor. They could just be one and the same at this point. But this is a possibility that's floating around. Nvidia will take this opportunity to refresh the 40 series lineup from the 4080 downwards and address the issues people had with the SKUs when it comes to VRAM and memory bus. However, I don't think there's going to be any price drops or any significant adjustments. In fact, I could see them bumping up each of the SKUs by around $50 compared to the original models and simply cite due to high demand and increased costs. Don't expect any significant price drops, you're only going to set yourself up for disappointment by doing that. When you really think about this and look at the bigger picture here, there isn't any point to these cards even existing. They're simply doing this to rejuvenate some interest in the market, get reviewers and media talking about the cards again, CES is coming up so they need to get some hype going up there, and if the rumors of the 50 series being delayed are true, then they could just be using this as a stepping stone. Contradicting those rumors, we have Copite on Twitter who said they've heard that the RTX 40 Super Series cards are going to be more similar to the 20 series refresh we saw, minor improvements, so the rumors are at this point all over the place, and this is why to me it just looks like people are throwing out their best guesses or predictions. Tying this into what we were talking about earlier with 4090 price hikes, this could be a great opportunity for Nvidia to slot in the 4080 Ti or 4080 Super at 1250. I can see it happening because they'll go, well, you can get 90% of the performance of the 4090, but at like 70% of the cost because of the inflated price prices on the flagship. If AMD can come out almost three years later and sell the same performance at the same price point you could have gotten a year prior, and people will praise them for it, then I think anything is possible at this point. If you guys want info on where I think the 4080 Super or Ti will land, check out my previous video where we discussed the specs of the possible 4080 Ti, and for the rest of the SKUs, just take the benchmark numbers that we have out now and add 5-10% to on top. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for this one, we'll touch base in the next video. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. 
Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.